oh, you know, my back really hurts. And I'm not saying you deny the facts, but what do you do? You acknowledge the fact and then you change it. You bombard the facts with the truth. If you have pain in your back, then you command the pain to go. Amen? Whatever it is. And even the problem is that we think if it doesn't happen right away, that means it didn't happen. Not understanding that the way the word of God works, it works like a seed. And every seed has a different germination period. Every different seed has a different period of germination. Some seeds spring up quickly. Some seeds spring up overnight. Other seeds take weeks. It depends on environmental factors, and it also depends on the type of seed that's being planted. Amen? If you, how many of you have ever done gardening? You've ever planted things? And some things, they'll spring up the next day. You're like, what? You know, you're like, so, so even surprised <laughs> that they spring up so fast. Other things, you keep looking at it every single day and just waiting for something to show up. Amen? And then when it finally shows up, you're so happy. <laughs> Well, I am anyway. I like, I like gardening. I'm excited when it starts growing. <laughs> but the word of God works the same way. Jesus, all of his parables had to do with farming. The word of God is like a seed. When you plant the seed, the moment you plant it, it begins to mature. It begins to grow. But you have to keep tending that seed. The problem is that if you don't tend to that seed and you di keep digging up that seed, it will never grow. It will never mature. How do we dig it up? We dig it up with our words. We dig it up with our fear. We dig it up with our doubt. Amen? That's how you keep digging it up. So what do you do? You water it with truth. You keep watering it with the truth. Amen? And before you know it, it may happen right away. It may happen in an hour. It may happen in a day. It may happen in a week. It may happen in 40 years. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that one. <laughs> no, not, no, no, no. But, you know, Moses had to wait 40 years. They had to wait. It, it, that's not us. Amen. That doesn't mean you, ha that's not your case. <laughs> Amen. But my point is, don't give up on the word. That's my point. That's the, that's the bottom line I'm, I'm getting to. Don't give up on the word of God. The word will not give up on you. He will never give up on us. But we have to keep plowing forth. We have to keep doing what we know we're supposed to be doing and not get tired. Amen? Don't get discouraged if you don't see things happening right away. They're happening. They're happening. The things in the spirit are always moving. They're never still. The spirit is always moving. So keep on going. Keep on moving. Keep on declaring the truth and the facts will change. Amen? If it's your pocketbook, keep speaking to that pocketbook. You're full in Jesus' name. Amen? Keep sowing your seeds. Keep doing what the word of God says to do. And his word will come to pass in your life. The Bible says it will surely come to pass. Keep the vision before you. It will surely come to pass. Amen? But it's up to us. we got to choose what we're going to believe. What do you choose to believe today? What do you choose to believe today? The facts or the truth? Believe the truth. The facts will change. Facts always change. Always change. That's why people, people who are always on an emotional roller coaster are people who are moved by facts. Up one day, down the next. Up one day, down the next. Why? Because they are moved by the circumstances and situations around them. Moved by the past. You know, oftentimes we become slaves to our past. Instead of standing on the truth of God's word that we are free. You are free from the past. The past is dead and gone. You can't change it, but you can change today. You can change your tomorrow. Amen? But you change it with the truth. Stand on the truth. Amen? Has this helped you tonight? I'm done.
I'm done. So we're going to receive our tithes and offerings. We don't want to forget that. That's part of standing on the truth, believing the truth. He said, give and it shall be given unto you. So we won't, don't want to neglect that part. You want to sow your seeds to guarantee your financial future. Amen? Are you blessed tonight? I know it was short and sweet. <laughs> Hallelujah. But God's word is always good. I know dad, last Wednesday, or no, well, the last Wednesday dad taught anyway. He was teaching about foundations. You know, we have to, you have to establish the right foundation. And your foundation is built on the truth. Amen? Not on anything else, just the truth. Once you have a good foundation, then you can build a nice, solid building. Amen? That's not going to fall. And that's what we're doing here. We're building, a, we're building a strong foundation and a strong building for his glory. Amen? So we're going to receive our tithes and offerings, and then we are dismissed. Hallelujah. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> and some country vibes coming out.